New at 4 o'clock, students at one high school are taking flight and getting a leg up on a lucrative career. They're a part of a unique aviation program where they're taught by certified flight instructors on equipment real pilots use. That's phenomenal. And Channel 2's Tom Jones climbed into the cockpit with students who took him for a virtual ride. Yeah, the superintendent says you won't find a program like this in any other high school in the country. It's giving students real world experience and getting them on the path to getting their pilot's license. We're going to be taking off from uh, just a straight runway. You would think I would be really nervous. And then we'll start taking off. Sitting in the cockpit. We're off. With a high school student pilot at the controls. But I'm not because we are flying one of 30 FAA approved flight simulators at Morrow High School. Now I'm, I'm gonna do a turn so we can get a feel of what it's actually like. It's all a part of Morrow's one of a kind aviation program. We are asking our high school kids to do things that adults do. There are about 40 students in the program. The cadets take aviation courses taught by a certified flight instructor. They get to get one-on-one -on -one instructor time. They get to learn everything that a private pilot needs to know. They take an FAA ground exam and even have two Cessnas to practice flying. Lieutenant Colonel Raymond King and school leaders partnered with the Brock Foundation and created the program. King says there is an incredible shortage of airline pilots and the industry needs more minorities. We're right in Hartsville Jackson's backyard, so we want to be that pipeline. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Superintendent Anthony Smith says it's about developing programs that help students soar. We want to give our kids, you know, as many opportunities to succeed in life as possible, and this is just one more opportunity. Colonel King says the program can set students up for life. If they stick with the plan, they could be making in excess of $300,000 a year at 25. I'm about to land on this runway over here. Cadet An Lee stumbled on the program when he went to the wrong class. At that moment, I was like, wow, that's so cool. I want to be part of that. Now he hopes to get his pilot's license and fly people all over the world, including his family. My family always wants me to fly them back to Vietnam, so that's one <laughs> of the things, too. It feels like... I'm really taking a step up in my life. <laughs> the school says two students have already graduated from the program and are well on the way to getting their pilot's license. Reporting in Clayton County, I'm Tom Jones for Channel 2 Action News.